Welcome to the good witch. Libras, once you were arrogant, then you found peace. You'll find peace without sacrificing ambition. You'll gain new relationships and you won't lose religion. You'll find perseverance through prayer and no longer through pain. Accept who you are, embrace your change. You have the key to unlock all your doors. Lock them behind you and look at them no more. Your dreams are coming true, Libra. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Libras, I see you focusing too much on the small details of life. You're looking so deep into the details of the picture that you don't know what the picture is we're calling this reading I'm probably going to call it the storm before the peace people always talk about the calm before the storm you're going to have your you might have a little bit of a storm before you have your calm from September the 10th through September the 20th this isn't a negative reading in any way at the end of the day, I see all your dreams coming true. But you need to go through that door and lock it behind you. Whatever you left behind you, lock the door and don't let it back in. Stop looking at the small details. I'm hearing spirit say if this is a if you're looking at this and it's regarding a relationship, you're looking at it through rose-colored glasses and you're remembering that one time they bought the flowers and not the three times they broke the vase. You're looking at that time they gave you a compliment and not those times they gave you insults. You are, I don't see you going, you might be going through a tower moment with a person but I feel like you're more so going through an internal tower moment with yourself, dealing with things that you haven't done, that you haven't gotten over yet. I see you dealing with that this week. Well, within the next 10 days, I see you closing those doors all the way that you slightly shut. You know, you walked out the door, but it's still open. I see you turning the key, locking the door. I don't see you throwing away the key, but I do see you at least locking the door. And once you do that, new life, new things coming your way, you're going to have to give a little to get where you're going. It might cost you. You want to go somewhere amazing, and it might cost you. It might cost you time. It might cost you effort. It might cost you money. It might cost you some sleepless nights. It might cost you a couple of friends or associates. They're not really your friends. It might cost you a couple of people that you keep in your circle. And you're worried about losing. You're worried about losing. You're worried about letting go. You don't think you can do it. You're telling yourself you can do it. You're doing all that self-talk. You're trying to convince yourself that you can, and that's a good thing. You may have some naysayers around you or some people who are saying that you can't. Some people who don't believe you because you've said you were going to do something before and you didn't do it, or you didn't complete the journey that you set out to in the past but I see you embracing yourself and completing it regardless of what they say. Don't let people make your past your present. Don't let people let your past determine your future. Once you decide that you're going to do something, you do it. And if you don't do it this time or you didn't do it last time, so what? Try again tomorrow and keep it going. Once you get it done, lock that door and put that key away you'll get your success you'll get your luxury you'll get your you'll get your stability 
and the way you see yourself will change. Screw how everyone else sees you. The way you see yourself will change. You'll start to see yourself in a more positive light and get those things done. What'd you get? You'll have that fortune. You have that princess of swords that cut off that creativity. And then you go back to looking at the small details. You have to give up looking at those small details. They have their place. Looking at those small details, they have their place. They have their time in the sun. Sometimes the small details matter. I'm not saying that you never should look at the small details. I'm saying that at this point in life, that shouldn't be your focus. Your focus should be getting back to, back to this priestess energy. So just as those small details came up so twice, so did the priestess. So your message is definitely clear. I can shuffle all day and you're getting the same cards. Where'd it go? You're getting cards with the same message. You go through that door, you close it, your dreams are coming through, coming true. You have the power of creation in your hand. Libras, this is beautiful. You have to go through something. I see inner turmoil some, turmoil. some of you might have to go through something. I'm hearing with family or loved ones. You might have a little tower moment with them. Yeah. You're having to deal with some people not believing in you and your family. You're going to have to not cut them off, but see through them and kind of separate yourself for a little while. It is Virgo season. I need to, might need to go into hermit mode and just do some inner self work, some inner self love. Do some work in your... If you don't have an office, go to your closet and sit by yourself and just think, meditate for a minute, meditate on what you want. If you read, if some of you might be religious, if you read the Bible, read the Bible and on positive scriptures, not fire and brimstone, but positive scriptures about love and peace and light. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If that's what you feel like you need to hear, you need to hear that. And you need to repeat that to yourself. Wherever you find your strength from, you're going to need it. The beginning from the 10th through at least the 15th towards the beginning of this 10-day of this period. You're going to need that strength. You're going to cry a little bit. You're going to have to give a little bit. You're going to have to let go of some pain. You're going to have to let go of some heartache. You're going to have to give it to God. You're going to have to give it to the universe so you can get that gain. Where was that? There was a, This card was here. You're going to have to get that. But in order to get that, you're going to have to let it go. You see how he just stopped fighting and looks toward the sky? Can you see that? Or is it too? Yeah. You see how he just stops fighting and looks towards the sky? He's like, okay, I did everything I can. It's your turn now. And all the lights vibrating around him. I'm not looking at the card for what the tarot says it is. I look for the visualization. I see the intuitiveness behind it. You need to look to the universe. You need to look to spirit. Because for, for some of you, you're not, you're not feeling yourself right now. And you should be. So, you go within and you'll come out on top. You'll come out with the Ace of Swords. Your success comes in after you deal with those issues. Your wealth comes in after you deal with those issues. And... I look forward to seeing you like, sharing, and subscribing. See, look, even more wealth come in. 
queens. All positive things coming. You're going to have to do the work. You have the creative ideas already. You have the flow. But you have to lock that door. You have to lock the door behind you and embrace the change. You got to stop fighting it. Okay? Peace, blessings, and understanding. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.